This helped me create some amazing designs for some of my niches that are selling and I've already started to get some sales. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple tricks to create amazing artwork using CF Spark. And then I'm going to show you how to turn this artwork into t-shirt designs so you can get more sales with your print on demand business. So to access CF Spark, just click the link down below in the description, or if you're already on Creative Fabrica, just head up to the menu right here and click Create Art. Once you've opened up CF Spark, this is the page that you will come to. And essentially the way this works is whatever you type in at the top right here, is your prompt. So if I type in cat and then hit ignite, then see if Spark is going to think for a little while and generate images or artwork related to that prompt. And cat is not the greatest example because it's not very specific. You're going to see later on in this video that the more specific you get about what type of cat, about what it's currently doing, let's say it's sat down or it's running, it's dancing, and also what style the cat is in. So is it a cartoon? Is it a photograph? Does it look really realistic those sorts of things can heavily impact what your uh, final image AI artwork looks like and are very important to generate better results so in this case we've got four examples right here they all generally look a lot like photographs which is not ideal for t-shirt design you, you could probably use them but we want to try and get some different results ideally for example you could type in up here sticker of a happy cute cat and then you can use these buttons below right here for the style and just click on kawaii because that is always quite t-shirt design related or it looks a lot like a t-shirt design in most cases and the sticker aspect of this prompt also helps with making it first of all so you can cut out the design more easily afterwards and also so it doesn't bleed over the edge like for example this cat right here the legs are bleeding out of the image and you can't see them with stickers the artwork tends to be all visible within the design and you don't have like a cut off head or something. So if we try this out right now, see what the results are in comparison to our previous prompt. I think especially this one on the right does actually look a lot like a t-shirt design and could be usable in our case. Now I do recommend always trying this multiple times. So I'll hit ignite another two times because sometimes you'll try this four or five times and then the, the fifth time you actually get a lot of really great results. You have to give it a chance. It's not always going to turn up perfect. It is artificial intelligence that's still learning, but you're going to see some nice results. And once again, the ones on the right probably look the best and might be usable for a t-shirt. Now there's multiple ways to get more inspiration of what to use in your prompts and to get better results with your AI art. So for example, one step you could take is you could head to the prompt book over here and you're going to get some different examples for different categories on this page. If you want to try out any of them, you can copy the prompt text or you can open it straight away on the generator page. We've got different Husky prompts right here in different styles, Picasso, Warhol, we've got paintings. We have got some general ideas like the Kawaii stick a unicorn sticker. Then there's some animal prompts here that go into even more detail. So panda bears made with fractal gems and a lot of keywords right here that relate to the style. So colorful, vibrant, cinematic, amazing details. That is all going to heavily impact the results that we get. We've got humans and characters, nature. So feel free to try out any of these. It is really fun. For example, the panda bear one sounded really interesting. If you wanted to try that, just click this button right here and then hit ignite on the right hand side again. It might be a little little bit slower for you if you don't have a Sea of Spark subscription because you, if you are signed up to it and you get speed credits as you can see right here I've got 801 and that's going to create my images way more quickly and as you can see with these results these are pretty pretty cool artwork I could see some of them working as a poster or maybe parts of them in a t-shirt design obviously you'd want to add some text to it but I'm going to show you that later on as well another way you can find inspiration and ideas for your prompts is by heading up to Spark right here in the menu and click on search creations. That is going to show you some of the sort of trending AI art right now on Creative Fabrica. And if you hover over these images, you sometimes see that the prompt is hidden by its creator. That's another feature of the CF Spark subscription, because if you want to download your artwork, you have to publish it first. And if it's published, other people can also see your prompt. But if you want to hide it, you can sign up to CF Spark. In some cases, like this cow right here or the bumblebee right here, you can actually see the prompt. You can copy it as well 
wall if you want to and then alter it a little bit maybe put in a different animal rather than bumblebee and see what sea of spark comes up with that's what i've done in the past and seen some really great results with and another tip is scrolling up to the search mask and then typing in a specific niche that you want to enter for example if we are looking at black history month one of the sub niches there is melanin and if we type that in we see a lot of really great results for that keyword if you've ever done research in this niche you probably know that a lot of t-shirt designs which sell well are aimed at women so the ai art that we see right here would be perfect for a t-shirt design for that topic so let's say this one right here if we wanted to create our own version of that we can click this button and say open this prompt in cf spark we've got melanin dark skinned woman big curls hyper realistic luxury some really cool keywords right here you can also change this to girl if you wanted to aim your design at girls rather than adult women and just see what happens if we click that maybe we'll click it a few times so we get multiple results and as you can see some of this might actually be usable for a t-shirt design if we change it up a little bit in photoshop one cool thing as well about sea of spark since i've last made a video about this they've actually upgraded their image quality so previously the pixels were really low and you had to sort of turn it into a vector first but now they actually come out in 4k resolution and that's way enough to print it on a t-shirt without it being pixel so let's say we want to use one of these images in our designs and actually make it more t-shirt friendly so i'm going to publish a few of them so i think this one might be the best for us so i'm going to download this and you can hide your prompt if you sign up to see if spark right here prompt visible only to me just in case you want to know how to do that once that's done, I would pull it into Photoshop right here. As we can see, if I zoom in a little bit, this is actually really high quality, very nice graphic. So one thing I like to do, if I've got a square image like this, is use some sort of frame like this right here. I'm going to leave a download link to this in the description. You can just get it for free if you want to follow along and sort of make this fit the image. So by holding down shift, you can click on any of these edge points and draw them out. So do this on either side until it sort of covers most of this image go over here to the layers panel hold down control click on that layer and we can then click on our image right here underneath and then select the layer mask down here add a layer mask and now if we hide this frame or this cutout then as you can see the edges of our photo look very jagged and well just a bit more suitable for a t-shirt in my opinion so we size this down a little bit we've now actually got some space along the sort of top and bottom to add some text you could use the type tool just click on your artboard if we draw this over so you can actually see it i'm using the font apricots right here by the way essentially you could write out melanin pull this in the center and then if i drag it down right here and change this text to queen then we've very quickly come up with a nice design for black history month maybe we could color match some of this design as well um, so you could uh, maybe match some of the colors of her face right here it's just just some ideas um, but you, you get the gist if you actually change the image up a little bit so it's not just a plain square and add some text then it looks extremely nice and definitely has potential to sell now i'm also going to show you how to turn these sticker types of designs into a usable t-shirt graphic and to do that essentially you want to head over to the layers panel then add a layer mask to that sticker and then click on the design thumbnail once again you don't want to have the layer mask selected once you've done that head up to the toolbar and use the quick selection tool you can also use w on your keyboard by the way you can use the open and close bracket to increase the brush size right here and now what we want to do is select everything around this cat that we want to get rid of essentially so just left click on the background and then drag this around the edge of the cat make sure not to actually touch the cat itself and then it should automatically select everything around the edges now it's missed out a little bit right here where the tail is so um, i'm going to use the open bracket to make my brush smaller and then just click onto this once it will calculate for a little while and now we've got everything selected that we want to delete and to delete it you want to make sure that your colors over here are black at the top then you want to go back to the layers panel and select the layer mask 
right here and then hit control and backspace on your keyboard as you can see that is now painted in the layer mask right here with our selection and if we hit control d now and zoom out we can see that we've got a very nice cat graphic to use you can now go ahead and once again add some text on the top and bottom or arrange this however you want you can put a vintage sunset behind the cat if you wanted to as well essentially we've got a really nice cat graphic that suits t-shirt design and that is usable for many different scenarios as you can see right here, you can also create patterns with Sea of Spark. And to do that, just head up to this logo right here and change it from Sea of Spark Art to Sea of Spark Patterns. And then whatever you type into here, make sure to also be a bit descriptive. Just hit Ignite. It is going to create more pattern style designs for you, which obviously is also quite useful for print on demand because you can use it on all over print products, such as the pillowcases on Merch by Amazon, on the phone cases, tote bags, that sort of stuff. And Redbubble, for example, offers tons of those products as well. So what's also really cool about these patterns is that as soon as you've published them you can use this slider right here at the bottom to make them repeatable patterns and sort of scale them up in their size this is really really handy because it can help you make them fit bigger products more easily such as duvet covers or shower curtains for example definitely another fun tool to play around with if you do intend to try out cf spark you can try it totally for free you can also use it with the creative fabrica subscription but if you want the speed credits if you want to hide your prompts then you will have to sign up to the subscription with cf spark the links to it are down below i highly recommend checking it out this helped me create some amazing designs for some of my niches that are selling and have already started to get some sales which is really exciting so i hope you have fun with this and i hope you can create some cool designs with it as well if you want to get more sales in 2023 then you will definitely benefit from watching this video next where i share my predictions with you of which niches are going to see a massive surge in sales during this year